What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through um, the simplicity of capturing local leads on social media, um, specifically in this case for a listing, even for an open house. But I'm going to really show you how to really crank up the local buyer leads that are coming into your business on social media. Okay, because many, many times I see people, I see real estate agents just posting their listing, posting their open house. And, and at the end of the day, the majority of people that follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it may be, every platform, the majority of the people, as you scale that friend count up, no one lives in the area, right? You might have 100 people, 200 people, if that, your friends, family, uncles, aunts, coworkers, people you went to school with, people you know in your local area, that makes up about a couple hundred people on your list of 2,500, right? Your friend list of 2,500, the 7,700 people that are following you on, on Instagram, maybe your 5,500 connections that you have on LinkedIn. It's only a few hundred, a couple hundred people. Statistically, it's a couple hundred people that you actually know, right, on that list. The majority of people are going to be people like me who are on your Facebook friend list that you don't even know, who live across the country and have absolutely zero intention or interest on moving to your local area. So as you post your open house, as you post your listing, and you're just kind of throwing it out there to see, to see who bites, I'm going to just show you a simple way, right, a better way, a simpler way, um, a much easier way. Um, it does take a website. It does take some basic knowledge of, of 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 putting this stuff together, but it's simple, you guys. And that's why I can't encourage people enough. As you move into the end of 2024, as you go into 2025, it's not just social media. Social media is the is what I call is what we all call in the marketing world the top of the funnel, right? That's the that's 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 the 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 stage if you want to call it that way, right? That's your stage where you're presenting social media, but the lead comes in. From the back end, I'm going to show you the back end. And the back end is a simple website. But after coaching thousands and thousands of real estate agents over the past seven years, 99.9% .9 of you guys use your broker's website as you're posting a listing, right? You might set it, that listing might be on your Keller Williams website, your eXp website. So as you post that listing on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, your people are clicking and they're going to your branded broker website. Or many, many times I'll see people just put their phone number, they'll post their listing, and then, hey, contact me for more information, right? That's the majority of call to actions that I see. Um, or I'll see people post their listing, and the link that gives them more information is simply sending people to the MLS, right? To, the, to, the, to their Flex MLS, where all the information on that property is on a basic website that is not being tracked. Um, and if it is being tracked, it's definitely not being tracked by you. As you move forward, you guys, the marketing space of one's business is literally the most important. So as we come onto social media and we start posting our, our information, listings, open houses in this case, you want to be able to track who's clicking. You want to be able to track the engagement. And the reason for it is so you can categorize that activity and retarget them in the future. That's branding. So that's how you keep getting in front of people is you keep showing your face to the to, to the most relevant audience that are actually engaging. Engaging is clicking on my link. Link Engaging is watching a percentage of my video. So if I'm doing an open house video, I want to be able to track those who actually watch it, categorize them, and then retarget them in the future. And so that's why my whole push and my whole just, just motivation is teaching people how to run ads, how to actually target their local area. So if you have a listing, if you have an open house, everyone in that area needs to know about it, right? But again, as you simply just organically post it on social media, 99% of the audience don't live in that area. 99% of the people aren't buying in that area that are seeing your actual post. So so again, just, just put yourself in, in my shoes. If I was a local realtor and I was a po and I was posting a list, and let's say we're friends on Facebook here, this could be any platform. We you could be watching this on LinkedIn, you could be watching this on YouTube, you could be watching this video right now on Instagram. I want you to think of it. Th think of this: if I was a real estate agent, which I am licensed, but I'm but I'm not practicing it. Um, if I was out there posting a listing, and that listing was here in San Diego, how many of you would be interested in it? In it? And let's say you're not an agent. Let's say you're just an average consumer. You you work at the freaking mall, and 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 you're and we're friends on Facebook, or we're friends on LinkedIn, or we're following each other on on Instagram. 
I'm a rate, I'm an agent. I post my listing, keep it real. How many of you actually give a damn about my listing here in San Diego? That's how it is. So as you're posting, yes, you'll get some engagement from your uncle and aunt because they're following you on Facebook, your mom, your coworker, your broker, but that's about it, right? So how do you tap into an audience of people in that area that don't know you? It's ads, it's ads. So, so ads are one thing, but the back end, taking them as they click on your listing, as they click on your open house, the back end is what I'm going to show you today. This is how simple it is. This is how you capture leads and get appointments. In this case, buyer leads. This is how you capture buyer leads and get appointments from people who actually live in your area. Okay, so I'm going to show you right, right now the back end and how stupid simple this is, this is, you guys. And it's this little tweak. In this case, this link. That, that, that is really the game changer. And, and, and again, I'm just convinced after, after spending years and, and speaking to so many agents, not one is, is really capturing leads this way. Not one until, until obviously until I teach them, but, but prior to, to me teaching them, me just simply getting on a call, I can get on, on a call with all of you guys and 99.9% .9 are not taking people to this simple link. And that's why I'm willing to bet you guys are not capturing local leads at scale. You might get a few here and there from your uncle and aunt who shared it on their profile because they got friends that live in your area, but you're not capturing leads at scale. It's not a business. It's not, I, I, let, let me rephrase that. It's not a machine. It's not a marketing machine. It's not an automated machine. And, and you're just missing out on so much, on, on, on so much business in my professional opinion. So here's the back end, you guys, let me share my screen and I'm going to kind of just show you what simple, um, let me, in fact, let me read that message real quick. Give me a second. Um, what did that message say? Let me just. This is because this is actually, this is pretty important. Let me, um, okay, we should be good. Let me go back. Okay, perfect. Got the green light. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so in this case, you guys, and, and again, if you're, if you're new to my page here, you guys, here on my personal profile, let me go to my personal profile. Um, this personal profile has been has just been a blessing to me, right? In 2017, 2016, really 2017 is when I really jumped into this in, into social media marketing and had a had a had a had a deep passion to teach real estate agents how to capture leads on social media. And then quickly I realized it's Facebook. Quickly I realized it's Facebook ads. Okay. So so as I really had this epiphany in 2017, I started requesting nothing but agents. And since then, to this day, the 5,000 friends that I have, you can come to my friend list. It's a public list. These are 5,000 friends who are all real estate agents. So as I go through my newsfeed, I see nothing but open houses, nothing but listings, nothing but real estate related posts. That's how I came to this conclusion. That's how I had this realization. I started clicking on links. I started looking at posts. I'm like, man, she's missing a link. He's missing a basic landing page. He's missing that call to action that could have that could have helped capture so many more leads because they're just posting it organically and not running an ad. They're missing out on so much business, right? So this is where I started really just getting even more excited to teach the marketing side of what I knew to every real estate agent on the freaking planet, right? And that's where I'm at today. So if you're catching this video today, uh, I, I'm just all in on, on showing realtors how to do it the right way. And, and this really applies to those real estate agents who are, who are looking to scale on social media, right? If you're already successful and you're doing business offline and you, you can give a damn about, about capturing these over here, well, then this video is not for you. This video is really for the, for the top agent who's like, okay, David, I'm posting all over the damn place, but I know I'm not capturing as many leads as I possibly can. I'm posting all over the place, but for whatever reason, people all over the country are, are starting to follow me when all I care about is getting the attention of my local area. This video is for the local real estate agent who's looking to scale on social media. It comes down to two basic things, running ads to that local area and taking them to a basic web page to capture the lead. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so 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 all these agents, you guys, this is what I see. This is the typical post that I'll see, right? So shout out to Annette. Welcome to your dream property, right? So she's putting all the text right there, which is cool. And then down here, she has an image. But again, 
depend on how many friends on Facebook she has, and she's only sharing it to her friends, right? So it's not even a public post. She's just sharing it to, to friends or maybe even a handful of friends. But the problem is, you guys, as we scale up our friend count, and again, this applies to every single platform, 99% of us are not going to live in the area. So that's why I'm saying if you if, if if you're catching this video on Facebook and you and you and I are friends, I post a listing. Do any of you guys care? You don't because you don't live in the area right now. If you're building a business nationwide, well, then that's one thing. Go organic and go crazy with it. But I'm just convinced that the majority of agents wish to be branding themselves in their local area. That dream listing is down the street. That dream buyer that I could pick up, have lunch with, take around, look at properties, that dream buyer is down the street, right? So how do we target them? A Facebook ad, right? But again, today's video is going to be on the back end. This is typically what I see. And if anything, let's let's go. In fact, I'll use the nets as, as an example because because all I really see, if if anything different, is I'll see a call to action down here, and 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 this is her call to action. She's sending people to the Facebook page. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Not going to do it at all, right? So 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 typically, what I'll see is I'll see a link again to the MLS link, or I'll see a link. To her Keller Williams. Now, Annette's not with Keller Williams, but let's just say she was. I'll see a link to her Annette.kw.com. And as I click, I go to the to, to her KW website where I see 15 other listings. And now I'm freaking all over the place. Nothing's being tracked by Annette, right? So, so there is no retargeting. There is no Facebook marketing going on. It's just taking people, random people, to, to, to a Keller Williams link, right? So that's not what you want to do it. So here's the deal. If she were to take this post, target her local area through a Facebook and Instagram ad, and as people click, so at the end, her call to action, don't miss your chance to make this house your new home, click here for all the details. That's the the one line, click here, the few, the, click the few words, click here for all the details. That's the one line that 99.999% of agents are missing, that one-liner, right? Click here for all the details. And then again, as I click, if this was an ad, if this was targeting her local area, here's what it would look like. As I click, I'd go to a simple page like this, a simple, simple page like this. Not your fancy Keller Williams website, not the MLS freaking link, none of that. This is a simple landing page that Annette would be able to control, right? This would be her landing page. It's not her broker's. This is her landing page, right? I'm just saying that as an example. This is my landing page, but but you know what I'm saying. Here what would Here's what would be happening, you guys. As people click and they come to this simple, simple page, there's one button, right? One button. A few reviews, one button. It's not overloaded with all these links contact us directions to the office meet the team freaking 15 other listings freaking all about our company our bio like it's none of that crap and that's what you see on your typical fancy website is too much information and that's the problem and in the marketing space we call that a bounce rate when people click and go to a website and it's so overwhelming look at your keller williams look at your coldwell look at your freaking um freaking exp website like these typical broker websites is what majority of you guys promote. It's too much information. Yes, it, it may be a beautiful website, but it's too much information. So with the moment someone lands there, they'll click around, click around, and they're gone. That's a bounce rate, right? They clicked, they looked around, and then they left, right? That's a bounce rate. So here, there's nothing to click on but one freaking blue button. That person came here for information on this one property, right? Right? So 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 give them the information on this one property, 691 First Street, right here in Colorado, right? So again, as you post organically, 99% of Annette's friends do not live in Colorado. Her friends on Facebook, her friends that are following her on her business page, her friends on that are following her on Instagram, her friends that are connected with her on LinkedIn, 
If she had a YouTube channel like I do, 99.999% of those subscribers won't live in Colorado. They're not moving to Colorado. They have no plans on moving to Colorado. Again, flip the switch. If this was me and you were seeing a listing in San Diego, none of you guys would care. So if I was running an ad targeting none Colorado, I'd be getting tens of thousands of people to see this post literally by tonight. Okay, that's the difference. That's number one. That's the difference. The ad targeting that local area of none Colorado. As they click, they go to a simple landing page that I control. Now, here's what's going on as people come here. Number one, this link would now be tracked. So in Facebook, I would set that up as a custom audience. The name of my custom audience would be, let's just call it, let's call it 691 First Street Landing Page Visitors. That's an audience. That's a bucket of people, right? That Facebook allows me to categorize. Now, every single person that's landing on this page is tracked. Now, Facebook's not going to give you their phone number. They're not going to give you their contact information because it's not a lead. It's simply a data track, a data point that's tracked by Facebook internally. And, and you're just simply allowed because it's your link. You're allowed to just categorize that data, okay? It's hash data, so yeah, you can't see no one's name, nor do you need to, nor, nor it, it's, not even, it's not even necessary at all. The fact that I can get that data and know that these group of people that landed here, they're now in my audience that I can leverage in the future. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on what leverage in the future means on that. So that's data point number one that I'm now able to track. When you guys are promoting your MLS link, when you're promoting your freaking Coldwell link, you can't track that link. Guess what? Your broker's tracked in that link. Because your broker is able to control that page. Your broker is able to control the link. Your broker is able to, 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 to create custom audiences inside of Facebook because that's the broker's website. They just give you, they just give you a subdomain of their website. You don't want that. So moving forward, you guys, as you really scale your business on social media, you got to be able to track your own link. Okay. So that's data point number one. Data point number two is is the pixel. So now I'm able to put my own facebook pixel on my page which is what you cannot do now if you're just promoting your keller williams website that's their pixel not yours right so 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 that's data point number two i have my facebook pixel on this page now let's say for example we have a bounce rate on this page let's say people click they see the listing they come over here but for whatever reason they don't opt in Right. And how many times have you guys been on a web page where you just you it caught your interest, right? It caught your interest. You might have been interested in the service of the product, but for whatever reason, you don't opt in. And there's many legitimate reasons why someone doesn't opt in. Right. They could have saw your post while they were driving and, and, and they just couldn't type while they were driving. They could have saw your post and then all of a sudden the freaking baby started crying like my little crazy ones. And so so they had to leave. They couldn't opt in. They could have been cooking and burning some freaking bacon and, 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 and they had to go real quick and they just couldn't opt in. But they clicked. You're able to track them, categorize them, and again, leverage that data. And what that means is now as I put out my next listing, as I put out my next open house, I have all these people who came here and never opted in. And these are all local people, people who live down the street from me. Now I could take that audience and show them my next ad. So that's how, that's why, and, and how, when we're on the internet, you guys, and we're clicking on different things, and all of a sudden you leave that website, you, it could be anything. You could be looking at hats, you could be looking at sweaters, you could be looking at freaking coffee mugs on some random website, you could be looking at pins on Grant Cardone's website, like whatever. Every single website that we're on, you guys, they're tracking, and they're simply tracking us with a Facebook pixel and the link. So that's why when you leave that website, you were looking at that red handbag and, 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 and you were about to check out, but you're like, oh, you got cold feet and you just didn't purchase. You go back to Facebook, you go to Instagram, you go on a LinkedIn, you go onto the, onto the internet. And all of a sudden, a, a, a couple minutes later, or maybe even tomorrow, you see an ad from that company. And not only do you just see an ad from that company, you see an ad on that red handbag. Simple. This could have been a link right here, freaking by davidsbags.com forward slash red handbag. I take that link and I track it. So now I know you landed on my red handbag and I know that you didn't purchase. So I'm going to retarget you and maybe send you a discount code, right? I'm gonna, you're going to see my ad again the next time you come back on Facebook, specifically for that red handbag that you did not purchase. 
right? So this is simple tracking, you guys, that goes on on the back end. And I just truly believe that the marketing piece of the uh, of, of the majority of people that I speak to, that's what's missing is the marketing piece. We all want to be on social media, but no one's no no one has the back end in place, right? So this is the back end, the landing page. So here's what this 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 is what allows us to do now. So as I run that ad, you guys, as I get tens of thousands of people in Nun, Colorado to see my post, to engage with my post, and to click on my link, here's what ends up happening. As they come, they opt in, right? They're coming in just for information on that property. And here's what it looks like. Send me the details now. So again, a lot of times when I see people post their listings and they're taking me straight to a page with all the information before they even gathered mine, that's where you're missing out on, right? As you come here, all you see is a few bullet points. I'm not giving you all the details you see on the MLS link, right? I'm not giving you all of that right now. You got to opt in. So it's only the serious people and it's only people in my local area who are seeing this post in the first place. It's only the serious ones that are going to actually opt in. And, and, and from a business standpoint, that's those are the only people I want to talk to. I don't care about all the Davids who live across the country who are seeing my post and just clicking like just to support me. It's like, dude, that's not making me money, right? I got to target the right people. I got to lead, lead them down the right path. And here's what that looks like. As they come here, they opt in. They enter their name, email, and even phone number. They click the blue button. They then come to a second page where there's amazing magic going on. Again, back to the link. Now, this link is also tracked again. Now, if you look at my pixel, now the pixel says lead. So now Facebook knows, and now I know because of Facebook, now I know everyone who landed on this link is a lead. And that's another bucket. That's another custom audience that I can set aside and maybe show them the next listing ad, right? And, and here's what that ad would look like because God knows this property is only going to one person. This property is only going to one family, right? But if I ran an ad and I captured a shitload of leads and I had a ton of people that landed on this link, again, only one family is getting this property but I might have captured a hundred leads. Here's what happens next. Because I have this link set up as a because I have this link set up as a custom aud audience um, categorized under lead right here. Hopefully you guys can see this under the word lead from my Facebook pixel. Now here's what I would do. Again, as I have that next listing, as I have that next open house, I could target only those people. I could target only the people who landed on this page. And here's what that would sound like. Here's what that would look like. It'd be a simple video. Hey, guys, this is Va this is David out here in San Diego. Hey, get a load of this. I have another listing you guys are going to absolutely love. I know you looked at my listing last month, 777 Brookstone. But unfortunately, it went to a family. We had so much engagement. We had so many people fall in love with that property. But Unfortunately, it, yes, it did go under contract and, and and the Garcias got it. But hey, get a load of this new listing that I have coming out right now. I haven't even got it out fully, but I'm giving you guys first dibs and I'm showing it to all my audience here. You guys, I would be able to do a video targeting the people who opted into this last listing. And again, because it's an ad, these would be people, these would be people in my local area. Right. So so there's many things you can do by leveraging people who are landing on certain links and this is the leverage we has have as marketers you guys so this link is tracked as lead again my facebook pixel is on it and now here is where the real magic happens as people land on this second page so a funnel in 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 the in in, in the case of real estate agents a full blown funnel so whenever you hear the word funnel Right, you got marketers talking about, hey, sales funnel. When it comes to a funnel for for the real estate agent, for the real estate business, it's really it really comes down to two basic pages. You have your landing page, and then you have your thank you page. Page one, page two, that's it. So we don't need where we're at today, you guys, in 2024. When it comes to online marketing, we do not need a full blown website. Stop promoting your Keller Williams 
full-blown website. It's not necessary at all. You're missing out on so much business, and it's not even funny. We're not in, 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 the, in the late 1990s anymore where websites were a thing. You need a basic funnel. You need a simple landing page. As they opt in, they come to this second page. Okay, this is what we call a thank you page. On this thank you page, shout out, shout out to my client, Andrea, top real estate agent in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. As they come to this thank you page, this is where you get your chance to shine on video. There's four bullet points that I teach my clients to say in this simple 30-second video. If it takes you 30 seconds, it takes you a minute, it takes you a couple minutes, whatever. But there's four bullet points, okay? Bullet point number one, thank you. I could play her video for sure, but I'm going to just give you the four bullet points. Bullet point number one is thank you. The moment they land here, thank you, thank you, thank you for inquiring and thank you for your interest in 691 First Street in Nunn, Colorado. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. This is David. I'm the listing agent of this beautiful property. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So number two, I'm introducing myself and I'm giving them some details regarding the property. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. You guys, check your email. I just sent you all the details. I sent you images. In fact, I even sent you a video we did from a drone. Make sure you check your email right away. You're not going to want to miss this information. Right. So 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 bullet point number three, I'm telling them to check their email because I just sent them all the details on the property. Number four is where it all goes down. Number four is the icing on the cake. This is how you get local appointments literally on autopilot. And the reason why it's autopilot is because I'm running an ad. I'm running an ad, and that damn ad is going 24-7 to my local area and getting people to opt in all damn day. Number four, this is where, what I call appointments on demand. This is appointment automation at its finest. Here's, what, here's bullet point number four. Bullet point number four, I'd be saying in this video, hey, guys, and by the way, this property is not going to last. I have families coming by tonight. I got so many private showings this week scheduled already. This property, I would not be surprised if it goes under contract by tonight. So if you'd like to schedule your private showing, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to speak to you. You guys, that is it. That is it. Two simple pages that get people to opt in, get people to see you on video again, and get people to click the button to schedule an appointment to schedule a private showing. That is it. So this really applies, you guys, to even organic. If you're going to continue to put out organic posts like this all over the internet, you might as well put a link, right? You got to put a link right there. You got to send people to a landing page where you can actually capture a lead. All 99.9% .9 of you guys are doing right now is waiting for me to message you. You're waiting for me to comment below. That's all that's going on. And, and if she had her phone number or email here, you're waiting for me to email you. It's like, dude, that's not marketing at all. That's not marketing, right? So to really step up your game on the internet today, to really step up your game on social media, it's targeting that local area where that listing or that open house is at. And then number two, it's sending the click to a basic landing page where you can capture the lead, get them to opt in, see your beautiful face on camera again, telling them, thank you, introducing yourself, and giving them details on the property, telling them to check their email because you just sent all the details with images and videos and all that. And then number four, getting them to schedule a call. That's the flow, you guys. That's the flow. And again, I'm just convinced that majority of people are, are, are not capturing leads this way. And this is how simple it could be. So you guys, if you're a local real estate agent, if you're looking to build and scale locally, here on social media. And if you're out there putting all this stuff on, on the internet and not capturing the amount of leads you want to be doing, reach out to me. Reach out to me. We could jump on a call. I don't charge for these calls. I will literally break down your business in freaking five minutes, and I'll show you exactly how simple this could be. I'll show you exactly what you're missing. 
there's five steps that I teach that I've been teaching um, when it comes to social media, media marketing and Facebook advertising. What I showed you today is simply step five, taking people to a landing page to get them to opt in. So if you want to jump on a free call, you guys reach out, direct message me. Um, this, this video here that I do for you guys really just goes to my Facebook page. Um, I might put it on YouTube as well, but the reason why I, I the reason why I can post organically on my Facebook personal page is because 5,000 of you are my avatar. 5,000 of you, no matter where you are in the country, shit, you could even be in, around the world. Every single one of you guys that are seeing this video fit my avatar. So that's why someone like me can actually post organically and, 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 and succeed with it. But if I'm trying to build a local business, if I'm trying to get people in my local area to see my face or hear about my business, I got to run an ad, you guys. I got to target my area. And I got to send the attention and the engagement and the AKA click to a simple landing page where I can get them to opt in. That's how we capture leads on the internet today, you guys. That's 2024 and beyond. Shit, that's been 2017 and beyond, right? That's been 2015 and beyond is, 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 is driving people to a simple landing page. So you guys, that's what we got going on. I'm super fired up to help you. Reach out. Let me... Break your business down and what you're doing on, on social media today. And let me just guide you in the right direction to help you scale. All right, you guys. So thank you for watching. Drop me a comment. Send me a message. Let me know if you have any questions on this stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Capture local leads. That's what it's all about. See you soon.